Hi, this is Bo Astrup. Uh, this is regarding DP 10, 11, doesn't really matter, uh, but multi out from BFD 3 uh, VST. How to buzz out the individual instrument from the drum kits to DP. So let's just make an empty project here. BFD multi out. Okay, then let's add instrument with options, BFD, uh, it doesn't matter what we take uh, stereo mono, we'll just take uh, stereo right now, that'll work fine. So here we get uh, BFD, we have it in here in DP, so the first thing we would have to do would be to of course, load a drum kit if it's not loaded. Cool. Now uh, we notice down here, uh, here's the routing. So everything goes to the master, which comes out on this track here. So if we click here, we can see we have master and stereo bus two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But we also have some mono tracks here, mono one, two, three, up to 16. Okay, um, this is a little bit confusing the way this actually works, but um, let's uh, dive into it. Uh, if you're not familiar with bundles in the DP, definitely I would suggest you get f uh, familiar with how the bundles uh, window work. Let's just close this right now and just look at bundles. You can get it, uh, the standard uh, shortcut is Shift U, or here in the studio menu. So this is a bundles menu. Bundles is basically a virtual patch bay. So what comes in, what goes out. And you can see we have BFD3 uh, over here. Uh, and it says 3 th through 32. Um, so let's dive into look. So how we set up a, a point. Now DP is very intelligent. So DP will set up a routing automatically and that will be doing say we want to do a mono track for the kick drum let's call it kick when we go here and select a mono bundle uh, one of these BFDs here uh, we don't know which one we have to choose right now but let's just choose three right now go back look at the bundles um, window and you'll actually see DP has automatically set up this routing here, uh, BFD 3, 32 out, um, instance number one, um, port number three. Okay, now here comes the really odd thing. And that is, first of all, we know with the stereo outs, same thing with the tune track. When you have uh, the first stereo out, we can choose, go back to BFD. The first stereo out, we can choose number two will actually be called if, um, now this is a mono track, so I can only select mono, but that will actually be three, four, right? So everything is offset by two. Now it gets really odd now we're getting to talk about mono because that's offset even more. So here if we go stereo when we go back to mono so let's go work our way back. So say mono 16 let's open our bundles window we can actually make this happen now. So we can add a mono here and set this to 32 out. So this is stereo, it should be mono. So we move it over here, 32 out. Now I made this, now it actually shows up right here. So actually, let's see if I'm right, if we get the kick out on 16, and that it's actually called 32. Really odd, but that's the way it works. 
There you go. Very loud, but you saw we got the um, we got the uh, kick out on 32. So mono 16 cores bond to 32. Let's work the other way down. Mono for the snare. Let's go mono 15. So if we are right, that should be 31, right? So let's make a mono audio track here. Call it snare. Now it has my uh, un um, my interface live here, so I won't open that. First, I'll make the bundle. I can make the bundle again. I can make it manually, or we can simply go here to mono and then go down and find BFD and make 31, right? So now it made 31. So if we open up the bundles window, again, shift U, you see it made the bundle here and chose 31 out. So if we go back, record enable it, and play. Now we get the snare out on mono 15. The hat, same thing, we'll do that in the, in the mono. So counting down, so that will be mono 14. Let's make a mono track. That'll be our hat. So we're counting down, so this will be 30, right? So there we set it up to 30. And again, let's just double check the bundles. Shift U. You can see it's set up a mono patch insert point here from 30. Okay. Let's close this. Go back. Let's just test it. Oh, no. Hat is playing in this one. Let's try this groove. See if Hat is playing. Yes, works perfect. So now I want my toms to share a stereo bus. So I'll simply go stereo and select stereo 2. Okay. We'll make a stereo track. Call it toms. And now we will go a new stereo bundle, and we know everything is offset by two, so it's three, four. So now we got the toms in this way. We will have the same thing with the symbols. We will send that to stereo three. And now you see uh, where we're going with this. So let's just keep on going and set the pair. Uh, the percussion, let's go to stereo 4 for that, and stereo 5 for the ambience. So we are good to go here. So we need mother stereo track for cymbals, uh, the percussion and the overhead. So let's make three of those. So we got toms, we got overheads, we got percussion, and we got ambience, okay? So we'll go from, so toms were three, four. So overhead will be five, six, percussion will be seven, eight, and ambience will be nine, ten. So if we record enable this, try play it. Now we should take the MIDI out of record because that will route MIDI back into what we're listening to right now. So it kind of sounds like a flam. So here we go. You see nothing comes out at BFD. Everything is routed out to the individual tracks here in the mixer. Again. Let's take the ambience out. So let's get a little kick. Get the 
something. If there was any percussion, we would have it there, but blend in the ambience. Okay, so that's how you route it. Now, now comes the, the trick is how can I get around not having to go through this whole setup every single time? Uh, one thing is, of course, that I can save this setup in BFD. I can make a preset called BFD Stereo Mono 2, for instance. So I can always call this up with this routing here, but I still have to go through DP and do this routing here. Now, what you can do is leave this as is, save this project. Now let's close this project and try this out. So let's make a new empty document. And this actually will work with an, an empty document or uh, any document where uh, something is, uh, you already worked on the project. So let's uh, try this out. Let's just call it import BFD for the project name. I have the project here. Then we'll start to work with chunks. So let's open the sidebar. Go to the chunks menu. Click here, load. And now we will find what we did. We did this multi out. So we'll open this up, click on sequence, and we will get the bundles with it. There we go. Now I can drag this sequence down here that was added. If I drag this over here and let go, I simply add it, my routing, my names, everything. And because I saved this as a uh, preset in BFD, my setup in the mixer came together with the routing in the mixer itself. So I'm actually ready to go here as soon as I arm all these tracks. So here we go. So that's how it's easy to do uh, with the BFD multi-out uh, monos for the mono instruments and stereo for the toms, the crash, the overheads, uh, the percussion and the ambience mix in DP 10, 11, DP 9 for that matter. Uh, so that doesn't matter. But um, and as you can see, if we open, if we open the bundles window, so let's just go back to the bundles window and talk a little bit about that. Now we can actually name these. These names that shows up here doesn't have to be like that. We can actually name this bundle. We can BFD kick. That was wrong. That was wrong. That was the ambience. Sorry. So this will be BFD A and B. There you go. You see it down here. BFD, whatever name I, I gave it up here would be. So this is the mono. So the first one is the kick, right? So BFD kick. Again, I made an error. You see, this was uh, number one, three. So this is uh, something that's not being used. So I can click delete on you. So it's gone. So this is my kick. So my 32, right? Sorry. BFD kick. Boom. BFD kick. BFD snare. BFD hat. BFD Tom's BFD overhead and BFD percussion. There you go. So now instead of having these odd names, you can name these bundles whatever you want them so they make more sense to you. So here's what you see in choosing the um, the input.
to any given given audio track or aux track for that matter same thing so that's done by bundles so that's your virtual patch bay if it, if it matters to you to go through and do that then that's fine um, else you can leave it as is of course the other thing that you can do with bundles is if you go through this whole elaborate process and name these things and you want to have that show up in another project or another computer or so you can go up to this mini and export your bundles so you can export this bundle call it now it's called bundles bfd mono stereo and then if you want to recall it at any given time you can always go back to import bundles and you'll find it and go that way okay so i think that covers um, that whole issue regarding doing instruments direct out into dp 9 10 11 same process so have fun and uh, let's know how it goes thanks